I spoke in my video of the uh, of my workshop about these little concrete blocks. So I brought them up here to the Choo Choo Barn and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them just to add one little extra piece of realism. I have this little uh, pallet and the pallet I actually made out of balsa wood and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just palletizing all these little concrete blocks and just using a little bit of super glue on the corners and I'm going to set them in here and I'll probably put four layers on and these are going to go at the farm that I've been working on and detailing and sorry but I can't talk and do this at the same time uh, but because farms always have detail like this laying around somewhere you know they always have a bunch of bricks and rocks and and, and just junk laying around. So I thought, okay, I have these concrete blocks, let me use those. So it's just a matter of laying these in here and getting them glued up. So move that aside. Another thing I'm gonna work on, probably today yet here on the Choo Choo Barn is, uh, my wife and my daughter at uh, Halloween really do a lot of decorating. And they had these little pumpkins that they sit around the house, and I kind of stole some because I thought, man, what fantastic little detailed pumpkins these are. They obviously are a little seed pod of some sort that somebody takes and somehow decorates them to make them look like pumpkins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a big pumpkin patch, and these are obviously fairly good-sized pumpkins, which is even part of the more part of the excitement because I'm going to try. I have a couple of other ones I'm going to get a real real big one and put in the pumpkin just as a joke and I'm going to take some polyfiber like this all right and I'll stretch the polyfiber out the polyfiber is made by Woodland Scenics anybody can do this okay I'm going to stretch this out to make it look more like a vine and then I'll glue that down onto at the, out at the layout okay and then I'll just lay these in every here and there, uh, like that. Now, if I really want to get detailed, I could actually put a string going in from here to here to try and make it look like the pump, and I'll probably end up doing that before I'm all done. And then I also have a paper punch at home that I'm going to, it, it makes like a teardrop paper hole, and I'm going to take the part that's punched out I'm going to do it on green paper, and I'm going to make a whole bunch of them, and I'll just sprinkle them on top of here to make them look like leaves and add a couple other things to make it look like leaves. But the more you stretch this polyfiber out, the more it looks like a vine. So it's, it's really a great modeling medium. And again, this is something you, got, you, know, you can do um, very easy. If you can find these little guys, I don't remember where my daughter told me they came from, but maybe she'll be able to think of it and put it as, as a post on the, uh, with this video.